Hello, and today, we start a new series. Hey guys, what's up? I haven't made a video in a while. This is, uh, this is Jamie here. Um, this is a new series I'm starting up called Cinematic Sundays, where I show you how to get some really awesome shots with some very simple equipment and uh, at a low price usually if I have to if there is a price at all really so today I brought my Sony Handycam the cheapest camera like it's a home it's made for basically home videos and I took my little sister and the three pieces of equipment that I have out into, out into the backyard um, to do some test shots. So I have my tripod, um, that doubles as two, so I count that as two pieces of equipment. I use that as a tripod. Actually, that counts as almost all three. That's four, then. Um, I have my tripod, which is a tripod. I didn't use it for that use, though. I used it as a, used it as a glide cam. I'll show you how in a minute. And I used it as a... Dolly, which I'll also show you in a minute. So, um, and then the other piece of equipment I had was my monopod. So I used it as three, and I had another piece of equipment that I was going to use, but it wasn't working properly. And that is my homemade glide cam. Um, so now I'm going to roll the shots and see what you guys think. So this first shot is the shot with my dolly. And, uh, well, my <laughs> dolly, it's actually something I made out of Lego to attach to one end of my tripod, because my tripod can, um, it can put its legs out flat, horizontally. So, what I did is I made it so it would attach to one of the legs. You would send one of the legs almost all the way, put it onto the leg, and hold, use the other two as handles, adjust the camera so it rests horizontally and put it on an angle, and thus you have a dolly shot. So here my sister's posing on our deck with a couple plants behind her. Um, yeah, so that, that shot came out kind of nice. I didn't really like it. I mean, it looks kind of nice, but it doesn't look as awesome as I wanted it to. The next shot we'll be reviewing is my glide cam. The first, uh, this is the tripod glide cam, I, where I um, put two of the legs all the way in and extend the other one all the way and use that as a handle and um, twist the tripod head at 90 degree, at a 90 degree angle, and use that as a glide cam. Oof, the first shot you will see is um, me walking around a bush. That one didn't come out very nice because that was just completely, I, I just felt like it, I was like, ooh. Um, but then the second shot you will see is a, um, it's, um, it's my sister running and looking at the camera periodically with me running after her with the glide cam and it's probably edited a little bit um, it's probably just um, zoomed in a little bit or something because some of the shots it's it's not as close to her as I wanted it to be but um, yeah so that's the tripod glide cam shot so the next shots are um, there's a lot of these ones these are the monopod shots um, the monopod is very versatile it's very light it's like a tripod except it's got one leg, not three. Um, it's very light, it's very versatile. It's good for photography and running gun shooting um, with stuff like this. Most of the shots in this are plants in my backyard. And that's, there's, I think there's maybe two that actually have my sister in it, but that's, that's pretty much most of them. Yeah. A few quick tips for filmmaking with a camera like mine. My camera doesn't have great focus, so what I, um, it doesn't have, it, like, it's not for a very customized focus, it doesn't have a focus ring, um, you just set the focus, the button on there. So what I had to do to get um, the shallow depth of field that I like is I stood further away, This I did this in most of the monopod shots, I would stand further away and then zoom in 
and then set the focus to the one object that I wanted to get more of a shallow depth of field shot. The best thing to do with filmmaking is work with what you have. Don't go out and buy the biggest things. If you need something, just, just MacGyver it, as I say. Um, as my dolly is made out of a Lego set. It's, it's no big deal to have to go all out, all out DIY. With all these shots, I have actually cropped off a bit of the top, except the ones of me sitting down. So everything with the three, using the three pieces of equipment, the dolly, the glide cam, and the Mod Pod, all of them have a little bit of the top cropped off and a little bit of the bottom to give it a more of a widescreen cinematic look. You can get um, anamorphic lens adapters or this thing called a sine morph filter, um, cinemorph filter, that makes it look a lot more cinematic, but unfortunately since I have a candy cam, not a DSLR, I cannot do something like this, so the best thing to do is just crop off a little bit of the top and bottom and it makes it look a lot more cinematic. It, there's a seriously a big difference. So if you if you want a very cinematic look, you should definitely try cropping off the top and bottom. It is a ve if you by all means if you do have the money and the ability to do something to get something like an anamorphic lens adapter or the cinemorph filter, do. Once I get a DSLR, one of the first filters I buy with it will be a cinemorph filter. Because I will be using that a lot. Yeah. And it's a, also a great way to get um, very fancy lens flares and things like that. Just as a notice, with some time in the next week I will be borrowing a Canon T3i for a short amount of time. Maybe two weeks or um, a week or two. So be sure to look out for shots from that because it will be more stuff like this. Except That's it for today. Um, I hope you liked the first episode of Cinematic Sundays. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Jamie, signing out.